Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Thursday, January 18th, 2024 Crosswords, and go for that 1420-day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini's always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Moi, boss, uh, ring, uh, annoy, or not. Uh, Sunny, wrong. Okay, Snoop and Euro. Typo. Thou shalt commit adultery. <laughs> Didn't know about that. Okay, the honor someone by giving them an award. Nice. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by John Miknovich and Carl Miknovich today. Let me fix my mic here. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is the tricky day of the week, so hopefully something tricky from uh, John and Carl Miknovich here. Let's see what they have in store for us. Let's get into it. It's part of some Italian church names, Expeditions e.g. Coming to blows, say. Indigenous race, this is the Navi. What Columbus thought he'd reach in 1492. Okay, Radiant, Rights Advocacy Org, maybe ACLU, Old Fashioned News Source, Records or Records, Logs, maybe Gross, Ugg, Pirate Souls, Grog, Actress who portrayed Scarlett O'Hara and Blanche Dubois, Vivian Lee, but there's not enough, there's not enough squares there. So, some kind of Rebus, maybe? The Food of Love. Uh, Charger Dodgers, open on Christmas, say, what a provocateur aims to do, money is no object, Confer concern for dermatologists, so I think this is music, feeling the need to pace, say, antsy, okay, this is cyst, spring, zodiac symbol, maybe it's twins? on Christmas say oh unwrap okay stir the pot probably ape is parrot world vision and others for short said so ISPs doomed to fail for short awards that only one college athlete has ever won twice Heisman trophies something's happening soars near the shore maybe some stock in the exotic pet trade uninspiring could be Blah, prefix with directional omni, K L M N O, country west of Zambia. I think that's Angola. Atkins for one. Hi, something diet. Boas probably. Hang glides. Uh, this is like the west or the East Indies but something's happening with the E and the I. And I think the same thing's happening here. Source of down, this is Eider. Scattered as seed is uh, sown. Something that a ram and a ram have in common, a horn. Dodge ram, like a ram pickup trucks have a horn. So there's a diet here, so I assume this will be E-I. Hi-ho, is a cheerier fane from the Seven Dwarfs. Take a something, peut-être, that means maybe. Black Bright, Dangerous, and Orca. Let's put Oreo then. High end camera brand, that's Leica. So I guess this is gonna be an EI. No, an IE. 180s. Uh, so this is an EI in the across, most prying. Aerodynamic resistance is drag. We appreciate the contribution. It's a health or something? This is PSAT. Uh, so Vivian, I guess I'm spelling it correctly in the, the crosses and not in the downs. So this is a town crier. Radiant is a gleam. Matadors, World Vision and others. NGOs, this is DOA. Uh,
the I don't know. Okay. Territory reached along the Oregon Trail. The Utah Territory? So it's the Indies? Okay. Some part of some Italian church names. That's Sant. Expeditions are Ford SUVs. And this is at it. Okay, cocktails with brandy and creme, creme de menthe. Stingers, didn't know that. Cone Nobelist. This is Anmar Sadat. Utensil for peering, peeling is a pearer. Rat fink is a stoolie, which I'm spelling like this. High protein diet. Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short in a 1986 comedy, Three Amigos. Cow is a moor, away from, not at. One's getting the last word in. Editors, hot shot challenged. This is dared. Katie, don't know it, but this is high protein diet. Nosiest. Early Quechua speakers in Inca. T stands for teen. Jeremiah is a rant, and dipstick is an oar. Okay. Old Man River singer traditionally. Church chorus, amens. Shouts of accomplishments. Said nasty things about tackle box assortments. Are, those are lures. Oh, espresso here. Big game hunting targets in the most dangerous game, humans. Wow. Uh, take of blank and holy title is Llama. Slimed? This is Tadaz. Beso, take a stab. All right. So, I solved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's the reason here. Okay, so all of these squares read as I, E in one direction and E, I in the other. And uh, is this like an I before E puzzle? Or is it that uh, you can write it diagonally in this square so that it kind of works, you know, with the I down here and the E up here. Maybe this is like sort of an I before E puzzle. Kind of like a joke that sometimes you don't know whether I comes before E or E comes before I. I should have mentioned that it's a Rebus puzzle. Uh, if you're playing on browser, you just click this Rebus button here and you can type more than one per square or you can hit the escape button. That's what I do. If you're on mobile, you of course just hit more on the bottom of the keyboard and there should be a rebus button. But just like yesterday, I see the mechanic, the gimmick in this puzzle, but I don't see why. It's like we've just, we're just foregoing having revealers or reasons this, this year so far. Right, like these are all phrases where IE appears once and EI appears once. Um, most of the downs only have one, but actually the Indies, which I guess, you know, fair enough. I said East Indies, but before there was a West Indies, I guess they were just the Indies. Um, so each of these has an EI and an IE in it. Um, but most of them are not ones where you'd ever wonder which one comes first, the I or the E. You, you're never going to spell Vivian with an E-I. You're never going to spell trophies with an E-I, I don't think. Protein, maybe. But you're never going to spell diet with an E-I, right? So that part of it, I mean, doesn't have to work, but... I really thought there'd be some sort of clever revealer somewhere. I don't see it though. Let's look through this thing. It wasn't overly difficult. Um, if music be the food of love, play on. That's the quote. Uh, is it the Tempest? <laughs> Twelfth Night, okay. Ah, I need to read some more Shakespeare. I knew Vivian Lee, but could tell there weren't enough letters going on there. Never had a stinger. Don't, ha don't have much brandy in general, or creme de menthe. 
This is dead on arrival. Bit of an awkward plural, I guess. Maybe not. There are multiple Heismans, I guess, over the years. I didn't think it was the most brilliant fill. I did like the cluing, generally. Slimed. As a kid who grew up on early 90s Nickelodeon, sliming to me means, you know, dumping a bucket of slime on someone. It's a help. Interesting phrase. Sadat is Tada's backward. Kind of would have been fun to have those in symmetric slots, but obviously, like, it's not that they tried to have these two entries, it's that they were filling their grid, and uh, <laughs> they ended up with those entries. Take a seat and take a stab, I did see that. Those are both legitimate phrases. Um, so a little bit of a callback there. Stir the pot is nice. Is no, it's not so great. Yeah, I would say the same thing about today's as I said about yesterday's, which is I feel like this puzzle also needs a... was it yesterday? Maybe it was Tuesday. Um, by the way, I told my colleague who does rook placements and crossword puzzles that he should write some paper about rook placements and crossword puzzles. There's more to it than I thought. Because of course you need to have the same number of crosses and downs, but that's not sufficient to be able to place rooks on a crossword grid. Anyway. Um, yeah, this one, like Tuesday's puzzle, I think, needs a reason for what it's doing, and I, I don't see it. Um, so, liked the trick, but somehow feel a little bit, a little bit robbed of a reason. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. It's actually a bit slower than average, it turns out. I guess Thursdays have been going pretty quick lately. Uh, oh, it's just, wait, it's some people, but not too many people are, slowing the, are solving this slower than the Thursday average, but not much slower. So yeah, anyway, let's move on to some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph plus word. Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word probably have the number and date wrong, I'm guessing. But anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's like British mini crossword means wordle at the end. It's 606, but it's also the 18th in Britain. So let me fix that. All right, maybe I changed one, but not the other. Let's do this. Is operational, maybe it's works, modern form of paganism. This is Wicca. Egg-shaped things are ovals. Indian princes are Ronnie's. Jack and cards is a knave. What reps try to get? Uh, this is a canal. Clive Owen as his sails. Okay. And what do we see? Where's the L go? Here. either here or here. If it's here though, seems unlikely, right? So the O goes here. I'm a bit confused here. The L could go here, but seems worse. Uh, so if I put the L here, the O goes here, here. So I guess the I has to go here, but then I don't see the word. Hmm. Just gonna 
keyboard here. The crosses look okay, right? Yeah. So, can anything go here? An R? No. A T? Linto? Not a T. Lindo? <laughs> Lingo. Okay. Wow. That took a long time to see. Alright, well, that's fine. <laughs> Lingo. So hard to see it for some reason. Maybe just not on not on my best today. Fair enough, we do have some British stuff though. Clive Owen. <laughs> That's the British stuff I guess, because we also have Ivana Trump, who's either American or Slovenian? Is that true? Am I gonna Google Ivana Trump? Check. I'm thinking of Melania. <laughs> Can I Google Melania Trump now? Slovenian, okay. Anyway, let's just move on to the telegraph code words. It seems more productive than what I'm doing right now. Starting with the code words tough. Let's see if you can see it. You can. It's gotta be an E, right? This is interesting though, so maybe not. And then if this is an E, I'm guessing this has to be an A. Now it's stuck. Interesting. What could this word be with all these 12s here? Um, this is very interesting. Because uh, this J. So is this an I or a U? Perjurer. Perjurer, that's the breakthrough, surely. The Q has to be here. Not that that helps. This should be a Y, I think. Canary, maybe? Quatrain? Like Nostradamus? Stepping stone, miscellaneous, yellow, cradle, uh, I don't know what this is, this is help maybe? No, this is haggis, smithy, uh, factotum, is that it? Zactotum? No, this is probably ibex, feta, bean, factotum, kelp. And even. Alright, actually went faster than average, even though it felt kind of hard. Perjurer. That was a good get. What is factotum? An employee who does all kinds of work. He was employed as a general factotum. There's a 2005 comedy drama series. Didn't know. Didn't know. Alright, well. Went faster than average on what seemed like a tough code word stuff. Let's try code words regular. And I'm gonna put leak here, like this. So E and A going in both. Uh, okay. This looks interesting. I guess. This, maybe this idea. Let's see what things look like with that in. Didn't actually help that much. I guess we have to find the O. And where should we try to find it? Interesting. I think this is a T. Maybe this is external. That looks pretty good. Quarter final. Undo. There's our 
Oh, I don't know if I would have been able to find that quarterfinals, rather. Absent. Autobiography. Whoops. Okay, Echo. Juncture, I guess. Cucumber. Wait. Sizzle. And Clever. All right. So fast than average, but just about the same as the code words tough. Um, both the E and the A came easily, I guess. Um, turbo, that's a kind of fish. Alcatraz, that's what that was. But I guess the breakthrough here, I think was this combination of estimate external. Probably I guess it's external. Yeah. Anyway, last thing we do before we go, not code words, what am I doing? New York Times Connections, where we try to form four groups of four. Share a common thread, let's see. Base, range, gross, pretty, bond, rather, glass, real, awful, mode, stern, mean, solution, king, median, element. Okay, so I do see mean, median, mode. And range, I guess. Dan rather. James Bond, Isaac Stern, Martin Luther King. <laughs> uh, Terry Gross, Ira Glass. How about that? Stern. Okay, let's let's try these stats words first. See if that works. Okay, data set data. Okay. You know these are modifiers, right? Like, you know. She was awful nice. She was pretty nice. She was real nice. She was rather nice. Seems good, actually. Adjective intensifiers, that's the way to say it. Uh, element, solution, base, and bond. Those are chemistry words. And then, you know, I think this might be Terry Gross, Ira Glass. This might be radio show hosts. Radio Hall of Fame members. Howard Stern, I guess. Larry King. Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, we got these in uh, oh, almost in Roy G. Biv order, but not quite. Anyway, thanks for watching on this Thursday, best of the week. Closely followed by Friday, second best day of the week. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.